If you think going into the ocean these days is scary, think again. All we have to worry about is the occasional shark attack, the possibility of being stung by a jellyfish or rip currents. Way back when, the ocean was filled with beasts of astronomical sizes that had massively scary jaws that could swallow a human in one bite. Today, we're going into the oceans and possibly the odd river or two to meet some of these creatures. Megalodon. This is one name that many are familiar with, and although not quite a dinosaur, they certainly deserve a mention. Megalodons existed in our oceans between 25 and 1.5 million years ago, which may very well have coincided with the first humans. They also missed the dinosaurs by around 40 million years. These sea monsters could reach 60 feet in length, or 18 meters, and had a bite that was worse than a T-Rex. It's believed a lack of prey and fierce competition from other predators led to their welcome demise. Ichthyosaur. This ocean-dwelling creature was around roughly 205 million years ago, and ancient remains were recently discovered in southwest England. They were almost the same size as a blue whale, with a body shape quite similar to a dolphin. They've been gone for 25 million years already, and are very distant relatives of lizards and snakes. Despite some reaching the size of a blue whale, they were mostly rather small, 5 to 11 feet long, or 1.5 to 3.5 meters long. They were more than likely warm-blooded, breathed air, and bore their young lives. Leviathan Melvilli When it comes to size, very few come close to the Leviathan Melvilli, which is the largest prehistoric whale that has ever lived. They weighed in excess of 50 tons and boasted a skull of 10 feet or 3 meters. The teeth were bigger than a megalodon and they could eat hundreds of pounds of food every day. I mean, this monster could literally eat every other whale. Its nemesis was the megalodon and they were known to share the same waters and compete for the same prey. Who do you think would win if the Leviathan Melvilli went head to head with a Megalodon? Shastasaurus. Don't say that too quickly, you might find yourself in trouble. This marine predator also resembled a dolphin, although they were way larger and could reach lengths of 65 feet or close to 20 meters. Despite their size, they only feasted on rather small fish. You found them mostly in the Pacific Ocean around 200 million years ago, and some experts believe they could weigh as much as 75 tons. Unlike the ichthyosaur that we mentioned earlier that is also shaped like a dolphin, this animal's tail arched downwards, thought to help it maintain a stable speed in the water. This could also imply it was a pretty passive hunter, waiting for the food to come to it as opposed to chasing after it. Sarcosuchus Totally aware it's not a sea creature, but definitely a good addition is this 40 foot or 12 meter long Sarcosuchus. He also goes by the name of Supercroc and weighed in the region of 15 tons. Don't let its size fool you though. It actually led a very similar life to our crocs of today. You could find these beasts in African rivers and they would pounce on unsuspecting dinosaurs at the watering hole. Like I said, just like our crocs today who are waiting for their next animal, which is probably a kudu or zebra, the one big difference to today's crocs is that it's believed the sarcosuchus never stopped growing, albeit very slowly throughout its life. Leopleurodon. This marine monster was from the Jurassic period, but you certainly didn't see him in Jurassic Park. They were common in the seas that covered Europe and they were incredibly strong swimmers. Experts disagree of their length, some believing they could reach excess of 50 feet or 15 meters, while others are more conservative and up for 20 feet or 6 meters. Scientists believe the design of their body would have meant they weren't the fastest swimmers, but they were certainly the most agile. Dacosaurus Another marine monster from the Jurassic period is the Dacosaurus, which was first discovered in Germany. Their fossils have been found all over the world, including England, Russia, and even Argentina. They could reach 16 feet or 5 meters in length, and their teeth make scientists believe this beast was one of the top predators in the sea during that time. Spinosaurus. You're probably wondering why on earth I've included the Spinosaurus on this list, and that's because it was a dinosaur that loved the water. Its name means spine lizard, and it's believed that this dinosaur was bigger than a T-Rex. So take that size into account and imagine this 20-ton monstrosity floating on the water. Crazy image, isn't it? This dinosaur would float on the water while using its monster jaws to catch its prey. Alternatively, it would stand on its hind legs in the water and use its claws to capture its next meal. The talons on this beast were enormous, spearing into anything with ease. Bacillosaurus the Bacillosaurus is a type of whale and is the predecessor of our modern whale. The body of this dinosaur was seriously long and sinewy, reaching lengths of 80 feet or 24 meters. It's like a bad combination of alligator, snake, and whale. Interesting to note, they didn't have the ability to echolocate, and they weren't quite as bright as our whales today. 
These guys couldn't deep dive or breach, so if you ever did bizarrely find yourself faced with one, you know what to do to escape. Thalassomidon. The meaning of this hard to pronounce name is Greek for Sea Lord, and it's easy to see why they got this name. They grew as much as 12 meters or 40 feet, with their flippers alone reaching 2 meters or 7 feet, which enabled them to reach depths that are incomprehensible to us today. It was probably the top predator of the ocean until it lost that title to new and bigger predators such as the Mosasaur, which we'll touch on later. Dunkleosteus. This sea creature is an excellent combination of everything you ever feared in the ocean. It has length, it has a mouth shaped like a guillotine, a highly muscular body, and a skull covered in thick bone for extra armor. As if it needed that anyway. Forget about teeth, it's more like rough extensions of their jawbone. And the ones in front were fang-like, so they could slice their prey in half with one bite, and their eyes were protected by thick bone. Kind of makes you wonder how these guys actually became extinct. They had everything going for them in terms of protection. Tylosaurus. Closely related to today's monitor lizards and snakes, the Tylosaurus was a sea-dwelling meat-eater that reached lengths of up to 50 feet or 15 meters. They didn't just eat fish, but were known to go after flightless birds too, and even dine on other Tylosauruses. They certainly weren't very fussy eaters. They were around during the Cretaceous period, and were numerous in the oceans around North America. Jacolopterus renani. That's just a fancy way of saying sea scorpion. Too bad there's no fancy way of saying be afraid, be very afraid. This armored eight foot or two and a half meter long aquatic arthropod would have likely been an apex predator, which is a predator at the top of the food chain. They were not found in the oceans, but rather fresh bodies of water, and it's not quite certain if they were venomous or not. But their tail is quite similar to scorpions today, so there's a fair chance that they were. They were surprisingly agile and could maneuver into awkward spaces and were even known to eat each other. Nothosaurus. These aggressive hunters only grew to around 13 feet or 4 meters long and had a mouthful of spiky teeth that pointed outwards, which means they enjoyed a diet of fish and squid. They liked to take their prey by surprise by sneaking up on it and were swimming in our waters roughly 200 million years ago. Their lifestyle has been compared to that of seals today and probably had webbed feet to help propel it through the water. Pleosaurus. It's rightly earned the name of Predator X and could have weighed in the region of 45 tons. This one was around during the Jurassic period and grew as much as 15 meters or 49 feet in its lifetime. The teeth alone measured 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length. That's the whole length of a ruler. It ate fish and squid and the pressure of its bite was 10 times more powerful than a T-Rex. Seems like the T-Rex pales in comparison to some of these sea monsters and have a lot of making up to do. The Latarachan Saurophagus. These beasts were on Earth 244 million years ago and were said to be as big as a school bus and is an earlier species of the ichthyosaur. What makes this species remarkable is that they were alive shortly after the Permian extinction, which is the major extinction that wiped out 95% of marine life. Scientists are amazed at how quickly the ecosystem bounced back thereafter. Mauisaurus. The movie Moana would have been slightly different if the waters were filled with the Mauisaurus, who got its name from the Maori god Maui. This monster was known to swim in the shores off the coast of New Zealand, and the neck alone measured 49 feet across, or roughly 15 meters, which for a neck is insane. The neck was crammed with vertebrae, which made the animal extremely flexible. It was on Earth during the Cretaceous era, so any poor animal jumping into the water to avoid the jaws of the T-Rex or Velociraptor had these to deal with. What's worse? I'll let you decide. Chronosaurus. Again, the jury is out to decide what the actual length of this sea monster was, but anything from 30 feet to 9 meters upwards seems to be accepted. It had terribly long teeth in its terribly big jaw, and those terribly big jaws could open to such an extent that could swallow a human being in one bite. With the addition of flippers similar to a turtle, it's believed they crawled up on the beach to lay eggs. Can you just imagine how that must have looked visually? Mind-blowing. Mosasaurus. This colossal water monster was at least 50 feet or 15 meters in length, with a head like a crocodile and hundreds of razor sharp teeth, making a bite from this dinosaur lethal. They were known to eat fish, squid, other dinosaurs, and seabirds. Clearly not fussy. They would have loved eating humans. Fossils have been found in Europe and North America, including Alabama and South Carolina. Before we swim into our number one, let's do a vote. Who do you think would win if the Leviathan Melvilli went head to head with a Megalodon? Cast your vote now in the comments and tell us why you're choosing what you did. 
Helicoprion. These lengthy sharks have a very distinct feature, and that's their lower jaw that looks like a circular saw. The teeth on the tooth well were also serrated, so anything in its path wouldn't stand a chance. It's not quite clear if the teeth were located near the front of the mouth or if they were further back. If further back, it would have lived off a softer diet of things like jellyfish. These guys also survived the Permian extinction, which we mentioned earlier, and they went on to live an additional million years before giving it up for good. Subscribe to our channel over here and hit the like button over here if you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.